Now, it's time for Karim Fahad Shapir from Iqbal House to please come and negate the idea that Mike is right. In your big round of applause, please welcome Karim Fahad Shapir. If Mike made right, life for a wild beast cage. If right made might, this were the golden age. But now, until we win the long campaign, right must gain might to conquer and to reign. Mr. President, you are assuming right. Might is always not right, because not all the mighty people have the mental strength to be righteous, just, and hence the ones who stand out and become leaders, the ones who etch their names in the hearts of people, and the ones who use their might for the benefits of the masses. Mr. President, excessive might is poisonous for the hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, and passions, because a person that might to laugh at our losses, mock at our gains, scorn the nation, thought our bargains, cool our friends, hate our enemies, and what's their reason? They have might. <laughs> Mr. President, let me take you. Let me take you towards the truth of realities. Let me take you to a journey that will hurt your wishful stumble. Cut your palms. Say yourself a sacrifice. Leap from peace. Seek from the inside. Say yourself a score. Stand for justice. And say yourself a sovereignty. Say yourself the substances. For man fact not the place they live in. Or the air they breathe. Or the God they turn to during disasters. For man fact not the soil they set on fire. After it draws the crops of their need. For these are the men who die being just while having might. Respected President, fed with the same food, heard with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, healed by the same means, cooled and born by the same winter as the same summer as a mild person. If you pick us, do we not beat? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, Shall we not revenge the villainy you teach us? We will execute and it shall go hard, but we'll better the instructions. Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, that is just because of excessive use of might. That even you are a king, but you always dream that the state of Mississippi, a desert state, sweltering with the heat of injustice and oppression, will be transformed into an office of freedom and justice. Yes, Mr. President, yes. That is just because of excessive use of might that even you are Martin Luther King, but you always dream that your little children would be able to live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skins but the content of their characters. Moreover, you have to dream that the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners would be able to sit down together at the table of the Mr. The quality of mercy is not strange. It drops from heaven like a gentle rain upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blessed him that gives and him that takes. I will conclude my speech with these remarkable words. Speak. Speak in the name of God. For those who have spoken in history, their spawns will not tumble their food. Give ear to correctness. Take time to prove. Stand for justice. Don't make it an oddity. Or don't let it die out of jail. For might is only for those who stand for justice, and it is not always right. Thank you and have a very nice day.